what is going on youtube i know i know i don't post very much on here but hopefully looking to change that <clears throat> in the future um guitar covers uh vlogs about sickle cell and stuff like that but um anyway today i'm gonna unbox the live in maui box set that just came out yesterday Jimi hendrix well the experience as assembled with billy cox Instead of Noel Redding, this is from Hawaii in 1970, two months before he died, July 1970. And uh, as you can see right here, the Hendrix sticker, authentic on everything. It says, Jimmy's two legendary July 70, 1970 Maui performances includes one new documentary. Blu-ray includes all existing footage. 24-page booklet filled with never-before-seen published photos. Press an audio file grade vinyl by quality record pressings. And I believe this is the first time that this entire uh, production is being put out to the world. So, give me one second here. Okay, so I just slipped off the plastic covering. Let's get into it and see what's in here. Okay, okay, check out picture and i'm sure you know as most hendrix fans have seen you've seen a couple of you know songs i know his youtube page uploaded uh i think it was foxy lady and voodoo child from this uh concert uh but honestly i'm more interested in seeing the newer songs freedom dolly dagger those songs especially with him playing that v um anyway let's open this thing up see what we got here All right. This is beautiful already. I can tell this is beautiful. Okay, here we have Music, Money, and Madness. Looks like Jimmy bantering to the crowd. <laughs> this is the Blu-ray here. As you can see. This special Blu-ray presentation of Music, Money, Madness, Jimi Hendrix Live in Maui chronicles the Jimi Hendrix experiences, story, visit to Maui, and how they became ensnared in the ill-fated Rainbow Bridge movie. This Blu-ray includes the full-length documentary as well as bonus features presenting all of the existing 16 millimeter color film shot between the two performances that afternoon, mixed in both stereo and 1 point uh, and, and 5.1 surround sound. Excuse me. You see the songs there. Okay, you know, this reminds me of the, uh, a couple of years ago for the 50th anniversary, they put out a box set for, uh, Electric Ladyland, and it came with the, you guys might remember the classic albums, uh, DVD, uh, where they were breaking down song by song, Eddie Kramer, Noel Redding, Mitch Mitchell, you know, um, Buddy Miles was there, just talking about it, that came, in, uh, in the Electric Ladyland case along with the album so four lps for that never before heard live at the hollywood bowl um which you could only get in that box set and then it had pressings of all the demos for every song he did um so this reminds me of that this is the 24 page booklet you see jimmy mitch and billy on stage there i'm not gonna flip through all the pages but this is pure 1970 at its finest. I'll show you some of these color pictures here. Check it out. Looks like he's got the flying V in his hand right there. That's the one from 1969. He got rid of the one uh that he had bought in 1967 and painted it. it's called the love drops flying v um he gave it to mick cox from air apparent a band from ireland that he was helping produce and then after he died in 1970 
1971, Mick Cox had fallen on hard times, and he ended up selling the Love Drops Flying V. But Jimi Hendrix gifted him that one when Gibson gave him the 1969 one with all the gold hardware you might see at this concert or a couple of months later at the uh, Isle of Wight Festival. He had it there as well with the gold uh, Vibrola bar on it and stuff. Now they're making replicas of it, and supposedly the Museum of Modern Art had the Love Drops guitar, but I'm not so sure that that was really the real one. Nobody's been able to find it, you know, ever since Mick Cox sold it in 1971, so it's been, you know, almost 50 years. Okay, so this is the, this is just three, two, one, okay, here we go. Cool shot of Jimmy playing the guitar between his legs. Showmanship at its finest. It says this one. Live in Maui. Let's check it out. That's Stratocaster. And you know, as a guitar player, I never really got the whole Stratocaster thing. I don't like knocking into the volume knob and turning the guitar all the way up or down. Or hitting the uh, pickup selector. And now my sound has changed. I don't know what it is. I just... It, it's It's... Something about the positioning of the those two things. I've never been a Strat fan. I, I play a Telecaster. Anybody wondering? So, as you can see, Chuck Ween introduction. Hey, baby, new rising sun. In from the storm. Foxy lady. Hear my trainer coming. Voodoo child, slight return. Fire on disc one. On LP2. Looks like he's looking to the first rays of the new rising sun. But Okay, on side two, we have Purple Haze, Spanish Castle Magic, Lover Man, Message to Love, Dolly Dagger, Villanova Junction, Easy Rider. If you can hear that, please excuse my neighbor's dog. He's very annoying. Um, this three, Jimmy definitely in the middle of uh, some kind of what, you know, it's probably an emotional solo. Look at his face. End of the concert. Make some blues for you there. Red House, Freedom, Jam Back at the House, which was amazing at Woodstock. Um, straight Ahead, Hey Baby, New Rising Sun, Slash Midnight Lightning. So this must be from show two. And then ended it with Stone Free. Produced by Janie Hendrix, Eddie Kramer, and John McDermott. Experience Hendrix, LLC. Now we can talk about his legacy and all that stuff in another video. I will make a video about that. Um, if you guys... Want to further discuss? Hold on, let me see. Let me see what the LP actually looks like. Okay, just nothing special, just black, black vinyl. The Electric Ladyland that I have is actually pressed in purple. Um, you know, I have a Curtis Mayfield LP. You know, Curtis Mayfield's you know, one of Jimmy's biggest influences, uh, and his album is pressed in orange. So, pretty cool when they take the vinyl, make them different colors. But so. That looks like everything that's in here, I believe. Yeah, that's everything that's in here. Turn it over so you can see the whole setup. Check that out. The Jimmy Hendrix Experience live in Maui. It's an early birthday present. My birthday is the 22nd tomorrow. So I decided to open it today and just watch and learn, you know, from the master. Um, comment down below and tell me if you guys are going to get this. Let me know what you think. Tell me what your favorite Jimi Hendrix songs are. Do you like Experience Hendrix more? Do you like Band of Gypsies more? Do you like that, like, Gypsy Sun and Rainbows, you know, kind of like right after the Band of Gypsies or like the Woodstock sound when he had Jerry Velez and Juma Sultan and uh, Larry Lee uh, in the band? You know, do you like that sound more? Do you like the psychedelic, you know, can you see me, you know, sounds from uh, Are You Experienced or the more soulful funk, you know, We Got to Live Together, Power of Soul, Anything is Possible, Band of Gypsies sound, you know, let me know. So this has been an unboxing, you know, uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, go on.